Got some oak logs in here too, perfect for plugging mushrooms. This is quite the, quite the chip drop. After 10 years of waiting, finally they called. So the cows got out the other day. They went right through the barbed wire. So we had to put them in our new paddock with the buck. And I'm just looking over here and I notice them acting peculiar. They're laying down in the middle of the paddock, in the middle of the day. Are we, are we gonna have a baby? Could it be? Is it possible? I wanna go and take a closer look at her position, but I don't wanna disturb her if she is in labor. Hmm. What are you doing, Khaleesi? What are you doing? Hi, pretty girl. You guarding your goats? Wouldn't that be something if she gave birth on Ryan's birthday? Today is Ryan's birthday, so that would be an awesome birthday present. He still doesn't think she's bred. If I can get, I'm just gonna keep my distance, walk down and around just to see her position of her belly. See if anything's happening. Hi, baby. You know, seeing her lay down like that makes me feel even more confident that she is bred. Because we don't give them that much hay. I mean, we give them plenty of hay, but that's a very round belly. What do you think, Lashes? Is Mama having a baby? Are you there for sympathy? all about some affordable housing around here <laughs> tarps and pallets tarps and pallets so what I'm doing now is putting up a large tarp in the corner of this pasture so that mama has somewhere that she could bed down with her new baby when it comes um, doing a little bit more research it sounds like cows are not exactly like goats so we might have a whole week before she calves but we know it's coming, so we gotta be prepared. And that's what we are doing today, is getting prepared. What are you gonna do, Dada? We'll make sure this little rascal doesn't get in, into trouble out here, but also aid and assist in getting this set up and making sure it happens right. Are you trying to be helpful? <laughs> I hope you don't turn the water on. It won't be long before you figure out how to do that, huh? Yeah, I don't think the kitty would like it. <laughs> I think the kitty's gonna help you. Well, it's not much, but it's something. So, I put that feed pan where the tea post is so it wouldn't rip the tarp, but it busted through. So I'm gonna get another bucket and put it over the tea post so the tarp doesn't get damaged. But that'll help shed the water off somewhat and give them a shady area to rest.
I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. I'm so excited, I'm a dog. Oh yeah, happy boy. Oh yeah, happy, happy boy. Oh yeah. Good boy. Those little pigs have been out here just a rooting around. I wonder what they're looking for. A little grub, probably. They're doing us a favor. All right, we are just in the woods going along the fence line to try to see if there's anywhere else that these cows could uh, try to squeeze out the barbed wire. We found the one spot that we know they escaped at because there was cow hair stuck to the barbed wire. Um, so we don't want that to happen again because we're going to separate lashes from her mom and let her back out into this area on her own so that we can be sure that she's not trying to nurse on mom because we're having a hard time telling if mom is being nursed on and that's why there's no udder or if she's not even pregnant at all and this is a heat cycle we're seeing. So is it heat or is it labor? That is the question. And I have found another spot. I'm glad I went walking. Cow hair. So they went through right here. Luckily, it's not a dangerous area for them. That is our neighbor's field that they are not using for anything. Um, so not dangerous, but I do not want my animals leaving my property ever. I, it's, it's high risk and it's not good neighbor's behavior to let your animals get out on other people's property. So. I will do everything I can to ensure that this won't happen again. I'm going to patch this section up, make it too hard for them to get out, and move on to see if there's any other spots. Alright, it's a little janky, but I've got some privet that's growing right out of the ground. I've woven it through several other live privet and some big, strong branches weaving up through to create a visual barrier so they won't try it again. Hopefully. We will reinforce it again if it happens again. And we will do a better time, a better job next time. We just didn't bring any supplies with us. I'm loving this little bottom land area though, huh, Ryan? Yeah. There's a bunch of hickory nuts on the ground. What else do you see? Privet. <gasps> and a baby. And baby, a baby, what do you see? Mushrooms? He, yeah. see, he sees everything. He's getting excited about everything. <gasps> what do you see? Oh, show me. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> let's go that way. Okay, let's walk. So you know that large chicken of the woods mushroom I harvested and all the inedible pieces that you said take out and spread on our property. Well, I did that and then that the large stipe butt that came out of the, the tree itself from where I harvested it, I found this tree and I found this hole and I shoved it inside and then I smashed it down like a whack-a-mole. Nice. I hope that mycelium will uh, take over that oak and uh, grow a new chicken of the woods. Yeah, even if even if it doesn't, the spores from that chicken of the woods are everywhere in this woods now. Sweet. You have the magic touch. I'm gonna walk in the woods with Dada and Mama. Puts them right out. Where's that sweet baby? <laughs> You're such a love bug, Bowser. Mama does. 
Okay. So bad. You're so bad. You're getting all the good food now. <laughs> yeah. Sweet boy. Working on fattening up mama. She's going to do a lot better. Having all those babies gone. Yeah, Bowser has his own little baby Bowser door. He goes in and out when he wants to. <laughs> when he gets bigger, we won't have that happening anymore. But for now, it's okay. I did it. Mama's not happy about it. But I got lashes out. So now we can be sure and make sure she's not nursing on mom. She shouldn't be. She shouldn't be, but Ryan saw her try a couple of weeks ago, so we're hoping that that's not been a problem this whole time that we didn't fix, so wish us luck. So, in all the time that I've been keeping chickens, they've always been either free range or in a chicken tractor where they moved every day. Stationary coop is something that I have not had to deal with. And because of all the rain we got, their area got really muddy and really kind of stinks. They stink worse than the pigs. So, I know from my composting guru, Enter stage left. That, one of the most important tenets of composting is to balance the... Nitrogen and carbon. Good. So, we are gonna be adding some carbon to this nitrogen rich, muddy mess, so that it'll stop stinking. We got some Saturday lime to put down first. And then some wood chips that we just got from Chip Drop. If we put it down tomorrow, would it still be called Saturday Lime? Yes. Yes, it would. Today's Saturday. Uh-oh, my door is not big enough. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Could have brought my shovel with me. Made this a little bit easier, but it's not the only load I'll do, so I'll get the shovel next time. And now, let's get this load in there. As best as we can. There we go. Girl. This area I want to do real thick right here anyway because this is where their water sits and the duck and goose definitely make it a muddy mess. 